Hi, welcome to the 10th episode of Chatbot Creation. In our previous video, we have created a workspace in Slack. And in today's video, what we are going to do is we are going to establish a connection with the Slack using chatbot.uipath.com. And we are going to utilize our Bobot or chatbot, which we have created in Dialogflow into Slack. So welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Nisar Vikadam and let's get started. So first of all, what we will do is we will navigate to the chatbot.uipath.com. We have already built, mapped and launched and tested into web application. Now it's time to test it in the Slack application. But before that, we need to establish a connection. Earlier, we have created a German Docker workspace in Slack. Now let's go ahead and let's establish a connection with that. So let's say connect. I have to enter client ID. It says open your application in API slack.com slash apps. I will click on it. I need to create an app. So I will say create application. The application name will be a German Docker or you can say German translator. Development Slack workspace. So I have three Slack workspaces. I want to create it in a German Docker. So I've selected it and I will say create application. Now once you create an app, what is going to happen is you will see this information. Now what we need to do is we will need to follow the steps as per the data right displayed here in the Slack chatbot. So the first thing we want to do is into the main menu on the left side, we need to click on the basic information and we need to under the app credentials, we need to copy the client ID from there. So let's go here into the application which we have just created. Just click on the basic information and right here, we have a client ID. So we are going to copy this client ID, copy it, come back to chatbot, just paste it client ID right here. Then we need a client secret. The client secret is nothing but right below it. So we will go back, we will say show and we are going to copy this. Come back to chatbot, paste it here. Then we need a signing secret. The signing secret is also right below that. You click on show, copy it, come back to chatbot, paste it right here and say next. Now once we have created a connect to Slackbot, we need to go ahead and perform the next actions, which is going to be connection to the Slackbot. Now in order to make the connection to the Slackbot, we have to follow do the following steps. So the first step is going to be auth URL. The first thing is directions, open your application in Slack apps. Then what we have to do is set up authentication. Okay. And bot permissions, navigate to OAuth and permissions page on your Slack application, copy the OAuth URL from here and add it into the redirect in URL and add the chat, right? So let's copy this authentication URL. I will copy it, come back here, navigate right here. We need to navigate to OAuth and permissions. So we'll navigate right here. We need to create a redirect URL. So I'll say add redirect URL. I'll copy it here, say add and save this URL. Once it is saved, navigate here. And what we need to do is we need to add some tokens. So let's go back and let's see where do we need to add the tokens. So we need to add the chat right in I am history, I am read, I am write, auth, scope under the bot tokens scope section. So it's going to be bot token scope section. Okay. As you can see right here, there's a GIF, which is explaining it. You can, you can go ahead and you can look at that. So it's redirecting URL added. After that, it's going below. Let's save the URL, the scroll below and they say bot token scope. Okay. So let's go back into the bot token scope. It's right here. What we are going to do is we are going to add certain values here, permissions here. So first permission, which we need to add is chat, right? Then I am history. So first thing we need is chat, right? We need to add I am history. Then we need to add I am read. We need to add I am, okay, sorry, I am right. And chat, right, history, read, write. Then what do we need? History, read, write. And that's about it. Once this is completed, what we need to do is set up messaging. So navigate to the event subscription page. Copy the event request URL from here. We need to copy this request URL and add it to the request URL. So where do we need to go? Event subscription page. So let's go ahead and this thing is saved. Let's go to event subscription. Now, as you can see, it is off. So we need to enable it. We enabled it and now we need to add the request URL, which we copied. So let's copy it again. I need to make sure that we copied it. Okay. So request URL, I copied it here. After that, what do we need to do? So this is done. It's verifying and it says URL didn't respond the value. 
challenger parameter in a problem. So let's go back, let's copy it, navigate here. We need to navigate to where exactly? Navigate to event subscription page, enable it, copy the request URL. If the verification fails, try again in few seconds, add IM messages even under subscription bot sections, okay? So subscription bot section, I will add <clears throat> IM underscore message. So I will add this message.im navigator. I have added message.im and uh, yeah. So we need to try it again. So let's really try. Just making sure, perfect. I think there was some mistake which I was doing. I couldn't resolve, no problem. Now you have seen that I am handling this issue right in front of you. So if you face this issue, you can follow the same steps that I have done. Now it is being verified. We have added message.im and everything is done. Now let's save the changes and it is success. Once this is done, let's navigate and let's look at what are the steps that we are missing. So we have completed this and now we need to install the Slack bot. So navigate to manage distribution page, click on add to Slack button and give the permission that you need it. So manage redistribution page, manage distribution page, which is right here. And we need to click on add to Slack. And this is done. So now I'm giving a permission to perform actions and channel and conversation. So you can select the, the actions from right from here, allow. And now you can see once it completes, it says bot installed successfully. That means our bot has been installed successfully to the German translator. Now let's go ahead, refresh the Slack channel and let's navigate to the German talker workspace. In German Docker workspace, now we have available German translator and we can say, hi. Now this is what we have created. So you see it, the bot started working. The application has responded with hi, welcome to German Docker. Enter your text to convert in English. Please make sure to enter German text followed by German colon. And this is wonderful. Right now we have installed and created a bot and established a connection with the Slack Right, so let's go ahead, let's say uh, English to German and let's verify. So we are going to say English to German translation. Now I don't know German, that's why I'm not uh, typing in German, you know? So I'll just say, how are you? Question mark. So I'm going to give this question to the Slack channel as German colon space enter. It's going to trigger a bot right from orchestrator services. It is working on it and you see, there's a bot which is executing right now. So UI path service has been triggered. It will convert it into English, which is how are you? So German to English translation is how are you? It's asking me to reply. So I will say, uh, I'm good. What about you? Now, I am talking in English. So I replied back in English text, which will go ahead uh, and be converted into German with our one of the AI fabric model. And we got the reply as answer to the German question, how are you, is I am good. What about you? Now, once a person from right from French says, uh, uh, yeah, so I'm good. What about you? He says, I'm also good. So, how's your day going? Now uh, this is what the text we got. Now let's go back in Slack and let's type it in and let's convert it into English. So a person is asking you, how's your day going? Now it will again trigger UI path through bot, orchestrator service is executing. It says, how's your day going? Now I need to reply with wonderful. Here in German. So I'm pretending to be in German right now. So it's wonderful here in German. I'm in Germany. Sorry, I said German. It's supposed to be Germany. It's wonderful being here in Germany. So it responded back with the question, with the answer. Now let's verify whether we're typing it right. So it's wonderful being in German. Is it the same thing? And that's the perfect. So 
we have now completed the integration part of chatbot.com chatbot.uipath.com with our slack channel thank you so much for watching this video enjoy happy automation